Hello students. Today we are going to learn about pronouns. A pronoun is a word which replaces a noun to avoid its unnecessary repetition. Let us understand pronouns with the help of these examples. Look at Mike. Mike is a good boy. Mike loves to study. Mike is good at skating. Instead of Mike, we can use he. Now, read these sentences again. Look at Mike. He is a good boy. He loves to study. He is good at skating. The word he takes the place of Mike and is called pronoun. Now, kinds of pronouns. Pronouns are of different kinds. Personal pronouns, indefinite pronouns, possessive pronouns, reflexive pronouns, interrogative pronouns, emphatic pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, distributive pronouns, and relative pronouns. Personal pronouns. They refer to a a specific person, object, or group of things. Example, I, you, we, her, them, us, it, he, and she are personal pronouns. A personal pronoun describe a person or a thing in the following way. First person, the person who is speaking. Example, I, we, me, us. Second person, the person being spoken to. Example, you. Third person, the person spoken about. Example, he, she, it, they, him, her, them. Demonstrative pronouns. They help to point at something or someone. Example, this is my pen. Second one is, that is a lost bag. Third one is, these are your books. Last one is, those are students of this school. We use this to point at a person or a thing that is near us and that to point at a person or a thing that is far from us. In next one, we use these to point at people or things that are near us and those that are far from us. Interrogative pronouns. The pronouns who, what, which, whom are used to ask questions. For example, what is your problem? Which is your school bag? Who can help you? Whom can you help? All the highlighted words are used to ask questions. So, these are interrogative pronouns, reflexive pronouns. The pronouns like myself, himself, themselves are used when the object is the same as the subject. For example, he hurt himself. Second one is, I cut myself. Reflexive pronouns are always used as an object to a verb. And definite pronouns. These pronouns do not refer to any specific person, thing, or amount. For example, everybody enjoyed the concert. Second one is, there was no one at home yesterday. Here, both the highlighted words do not refer to any specific person. So, both are indefinite pronouns. Emphatic pronouns. These pronouns are used 
to give emphasis or importance to some person or thing mentioned in the sentence. For example, I baked the cake myself. Second one is, they themselves admitted their mistake. Emphatic pronouns cannot be used as a subject. Possessive pronouns. They show ownership to someone or something. For example, this pen is mine. That one is yours. Second one is, this bike is hers. This one is his. Distributive pronouns. These pronouns are used to talk about people or things as individual members of a pair or of a group. A distributive pronoun is always singular and is therefore followed by a singular verb. For example, each of the girls draws a picture. Second one is, either of these has that information. Relative pronouns. These pronouns are used to refer to nouns mentioned earlier in the sentence. They also help us join two sentences. For example, the man whose house you are buying is my neighbor. Second one is, the car which they bought is expensive. After all these examples, we have an idea about identifying different kinds of pronouns. Thank you.